and thank you to everybody who's here. Um, I would say I'm speechless, and I kind of am. I, you know, I think everybody knows I love to celebrate for others, but I'm not so much liking to be um, the person being celebrated. So um, I appreciate pro bono magic. I mean, I don't know that anyone could say anything better about me, um, but I would like to focus really on VALS and the wonderful time it has been um, to work together. Um, as people know, I'm now living in New Hampshire. You can tell I actually have a staircase. I'm in a house, it's unbelievable. Um, but I was thinking of an analogy and I figured I had to come up with something that's gonna be about my new life. So I thought a skiing analogy as relates to my work with VALS. So people have heard me talk about the airplane, but now I'm gonna talk about the ski slope. And I'm going to be on the Black Diamond, you know, trail. And the skier is Vols. Because Vols brings to that slope a tremendous amount of expertise and skill. The ability to face any circumstance affecting low-income New Yorkers and think creatively about how to approach it. And COVID-19 was the ultimate example. You know, when I think back to leaving the office on March 13th, just two days after we were supposed to have our first ever gala celebrating 35 years and our summit on the intersection between pro bono and DEI initiatives, you know, I thought, what's going to happen? And you know what? I didn't really actually have to think longer than the weekend because the Vols staff, every single person stepped up to work with their communities and figure out what was needed. And it was funny because as we were doing work with some of the COVID-19 coalition and the New York State Bar Association and with the New York City Bar, and we were all working together, people were talking about surges in work. And I kept saying, surge, we've surged on day one and our clients need us now more than ever. And you can see that in just what you've heard from the community. But here's why I'm also using the skiing analogy. Because we don't slalom, we ski on two skis. And the skis are really our community partners who you heard from this morning and our pro bono partners, you know, who you have heard from, who were there listening, who Brenna represented. And from day one of the pandemic, and I'm just gonna talk about that for a minute, our partnerships were critical to being able to do the work the ability to reach out to an organization like Mills and be able to say, you know, what, what can we do? And to work together and to immediately work together and then have Jackie Haberfield from Kirkland and Ellis be able to put together a program so that we could easily, easily do that work. And, and the list goes on. I work with Skadden, I work with Paul Weiss on unemployment, our SBLRA work with so many firms companies and legal service organizations on behalf of small businesses. That's the skiing down the slope, our expert staff steering, figuring out what direction to go in, but being able to do that by being held steady by the community and of organizations, by our clients and by our pro bono partners. And that's just a wonderful model. And it's a model that I was so excited to get to work with and get to expand and get to learn from. And we learn from each other and that's what's so important. So, you know, one leader is a leader for the moments. My moments tend to be a little shorter than most, I must admit, but it doesn't make a difference because a strong organization is empowered in some ways by a strong leader, but they also help a leader be able to be strong. And the Vols staff, every single one of them, whatever their role is, bring such tremendous passion, experience, and commitment that, you know, it doesn't matter that today's my last day and I'm going off hiking. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to work. But it just doesn't matter because everything will be great. And what's so exciting is that, you know, I love transformation. That's something that, you know, I thrive on personally, but I also think organizations thrive on transformation. And I think that we have a real steady organization right now. And whoever the new leader is, they're gonna come in with, 
the ability to build on the two bills that came before me and then the work that I did and then whatever they will do to continue to utilize Val's experience and Val's expertise and Val's connections to be able to work on behalf of the New Yorkers that now more than ever need our help. So thank you to all of you. It's been such a pleasure. If you're in New Hampshire, come visit. If you're skiing, don't call me. I actually don't ski. I hope that analogy actually was accurate. Um, but I'll look forward to seeing you. And certainly I'll be keeping up and lurking in the background, you know, of New York kind of work to see how you are all doing. So thank you and take care. Marsha.